Greetings, my friends. Have you ever wanted to take something like a goose feather and turn it into a 1840s or 1795 style quill pen using the parts from a typical clicky pen? Well, I'll teach you how in this episode of The Crafter. Well, as you can see in this graphic that I've created here for you, you take a pen cartridge, first of all, and we're talking about the kind of long, thin pin cartridge that you'll typically see with a little spring inside of a clicky pen. So you remove that from some inexpensive clicky pen, take the spring, throw that away, don't need it, and you just have nothing left but the cartridge. So the first thing you want to do is look at the kind of feather you're going to be using. In this case, we're going to be using a goose feather. And you can use a goose feather or maybe a turkey feather, any of the larger size feathers that you can do, whether you get them at a craft store or whether you pick them up at a local park where Canadian geese hang out, whatever works, that's what we did for ours. And you clip off the end, you see on the bottom of the graphic there, you snip off the end of the goose feather with a pair of scissors, etc., or wire cutters will work just as well. And you want to open up that end there. And so what you do is you take your clicky pen cartridge and uh, depending on how much room you have in the shaft of the feather, you may or may not need to click off, you know, with um, your wire cutters, some of the length of the pen cartridge. And uh, just try to make sure you don't click it into the area where there's ink or you'll have a mess. And you don't want that because ink doesn't come out very easily. So what you want to do is get it to the right length you think is going to fit inside and then what you do is you take the pen cartridge and just basically put it down up inside the feather. You'll meet a little bit of resistance and you basically stop right when the edge of the, uh, the cartridge, just when the tip is right at the edge there, when all the plastic is inside but the metal tip is still sticking out just a little bit. You want to stop and you'll notice you still have a little play in that circular area at the end of the goose feather. So what you do to take up that slack and make it a more firm fit, you should take one to two flat toothpicks and you basically shove them right in underneath where you've put the uh, cartridge and fill up that gap. And it usually takes maybe one or two to kind of cradle the pen cartridge. And you want to leave a little bit of the tip of each of those toothpicks outside of the feather. The reason for this is that you may want, of course, once your pen ink runs out, to replace the cartridge with another one. You want to be able to pull those little shims that the toothpicks represent out again and reuse them when you put the new cartridge back in. Once you've done that, you've got your quill pen. Enjoy and... Uh, have some fun with it. Maybe do some calligraphy. <laughs> we'll see you next time here on The Crafter.